now that we're getting off moonshot this chapter of my life is going to be called packing and unpacking what's up roomies not how we thought this story would end but it has ended last time we were dealing with the aftermath of a parted spinnaker halyard and a spinnaker lost overboard we were able to cut most of the running rigging away, except for the snuffer line that was jammed in the rudder. Rockstar Robin to the rescue once again, diving in to get that thing unjammed. He headed out in a jiffy, and we were underway again in the final stretch to get to the BVI. With the wind filling in once again, we were able to make good speed with the Genoa and the mainsail. After seeing a whole lot of nothing for a couple weeks, as we approached the islands, we had a visitor. You're making friends? Yeah, his name is George. George is lost. He misses his family, Gwen, Paul, and the two babies. They all are, are missing George. So thankfully he's been able to rest here for about 30 seconds, but he's, he's a little skittish. You notice he's, he doesn't have his sea legs yet. The wave comes, he's like, Monsieur Robin has been kind and taken him some water, so hopefully he'll get a drink and stick around for a while. I hope he will. I hope he doesn't poop, though. Because <laughs> it's my cabin, not far from here. With the ending in sight, we had one more two-pronged challenge in front of us. One last cold front. This means a chance for showers and thunderstorms, but also light winds, and that could be a problem. We don't have much diesel left. As nasty as this cloud looks, it is nothing compared to the storm that is about to sink the O'Kelly Outremer ship. While Robin and Jean Marc are preparing the boat for strong wind gusts with this thunderstorm, I'm down below having a conference call with one of the big wigs at Outremer. Outremer and Grand Large Yachting had sent us a list of conditions and stipulations surrounding our use of this Outremer 55 after the boat show. We had told them that these conditions were absolutely unacceptable and sent our own conditions, which they found unacceptable. Megan and I talked it over and we decided that we had no interest in pursuing this relationship any further. And I would get off the boat as soon as we got to the BVI. Land ho! In light of the situation, you can understand why I was eager for this trip to be over. We had other opportunities to pursue. Unfortunately, it seemed like it was the trip that would never end. The captain decided that we were too low on fuel to make it to the BVI, 
and we didn't have any wind. So he diverted us to Antigua, adding an extra day of motoring to the trip. So uh, we're going to complete the crossing here in about two hours. And that puts our total crossing time from Las Palmas in the Canary Islands to Antigua of just over 14 and a half days. Um, that's, that's respectable crossing time, I think. We're going to stop here and get some gas, get some diesel that is, and then continue motoring because there really isn't any wind at all up towards the BVI. Wow. Oh, I know this boat. Hyperion. Used to see it in the San Francisco Bay Area, Alameda Island, actually. Beautiful, beautiful boat. Uh, tech guy, Jim Clark, at least used to own it. I don't know if he still owns it. Beautiful, beautiful boat. But the pump here is slow and they probably need a lot of fuel. So we're going to be waiting 30, 40 minutes at least. Kind of cool to see a, a Leopard 46 in here. Got to tell you, kind of pulls at my heart just a little bit. Uh, given how things have turned out, kind of wish I had stuck with old Clarity. It's a good boat. This big, big boy uh, decided that they, uh, they wanted to cut in line. I don't know, maybe they had an appointment or something. So we had to go back out and anchor. What was gonna be a pit stop here for 45 minutes or an hour, I think is eh, four or five hours now. One thing we are continually blown away by is the community that has built up around these videos. And while I know that you say we provide inspiration to you, I can't emphasize enough how much that is a two-way street. And these great folks probably had no idea just how much I needed a hug right about now. Thank you, buddy. Dude, Simon. Hey. Thanks, man. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, appreciate it. I mean, really, to show up at a remote Caribbean island and have friends waiting, it's just an incredible feeling to have that kind of love and support. Thank you. Some of you in the comments section got the wrong impression about my relationship with the captain, the skipper, Jean-Marc. I think you may have thought that there was friction aboard. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I disagreed with some of his decisions, and I disagreed with his routing. But we got along just fine. We shared a lot of laughs and good stories. He was a good sport, even with my silly little skits. And I think that that's really important to remember in this day and age. We can have disagreements. We can disagree about important things. But that does not have to become personal. If we can set our egos aside, we can learn from each other. We can take the best of what each other has to offer. As we approached Tortola in the British Virgin Islands, it was full circle for us. This is where we bought Clarity in 2016. After checking in, it was time for both Robin and I to depart the boat. I'm not at all a dinghy dancer. You're not the dancer? You're pretty graceful. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the dinghy linebacker. Or what's the positions in rugby? Midfielder or running fast. Oh. So you're the dinghy middle guy. <laughs> <laughs> This chapter of my life is gonna be called Packing and Unpacking. Now that we're getting off Moonshot, we are going to stay with friends, stay with patrons on Not 5280. It's a Lagoon catamaran and not far from here, so I'm gonna dingy our stuff over. It's a lot of stuff. What's up, guys? 
What's up, roomies? <laughs> I like, I like the U-Haul RV, everything going on here. So grateful to have a spot to land when we got to Soper's Hole. And a great spot for a reunion. I'm gonna be hot here in a second, but I made it pretty easy. And I'm gonna see Nick here in probably two hours. Gotta catch a cab to Red Hook and then take a ferry. Thank you. This is very surreal. I don't think I've been back here for eight years and we're headed to Tortola where we bought Clarity. So a lot of full circles coming around. I've only talked to Nick once in the last three weeks, so it's weird. Can't wait to see him. It's funny, even our family have been like, hey, how long are you gonna be there? And I'm like, hey, you guys should know by now that we have no clue. It's pretty weird to be so untethered and going with the flow, but that is what we've been doing for so long now that it actually feels really natural and even though I'm exhausted by it, but I think it's because I'm still getting my strength back. But no, in general, like, it would be nice to know. It would be, I would really appreciate knowing where I could keep my things permanently, semi-permanently, but not, not today. So I'm okay with it. the longest we've been apart in like 20 years i got so busted i was trying to film inside the government building don't film inside i got the in trouble <laughs> they don't like that here i was like i'm sorry i was just so excited to see my husband i wanted to film it ah. you ready i'm ready baby i'm not sure i remember how to do this there you go you want to sit back with your heads yeah we did it This is so weird to be here, where we got clarity. Oh my god, it's so, so weird. I mean, we surveyed a boat right there, or I did. Remember the voyage oh, for yeah. Nike? Oh. oh my god. And uh, let's see, Moonshot was on this mooring. Or, oh. Yeah, this mooring right here. So Left this morning. Weird. So weird. Yeah. Yeah. I hope what? they have a good passage. I hope they do too. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. <gasps> not, oh, not 5280. Hello! <laughs> Thank you! Hi! Nice to meet you! Welcome oh home. my gosh, thank you so much. Absolutely. This is amazing. Well, welcome. Absolutely. So great to be here. You gotta be exhausted. I am, but I'm on adrenaline. Okay. So, yeah. We're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> I feel a little wobbly just from probably being tired. How much sleep did you get? You got two hours sleep? Two hours. You got both hours of sleep? I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that avocado? Avocado. And chutney? Tomato, pineapple. Holly and Joe are patrons. They run charters on Not 5280. We're going to put a link to their website down in the description. But they took care of us, and we really needed some taking care of. Thanks so much, guys. So I guess I would say that things have turned out all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, when we headed over to France to... I guess do this deal with with Outremer is very much just a handshake mm -hmm. thing. It was very new for them mm -hmm. this idea of 
letting a, a couple of YouTubers take their boat and, mm -hmm. and us making content. It was, it was new for them, new for us. It's a big experiment. It's a big experiment. On everybody's part. So, yeah, yeah it was super fun. And, you know, the idea was that after the Miami show, we would mm -hmm. take the boat. And, you know, this is a two point something million dollar catamaran. And we all recognize the need for a written formal agreement, mm -hmm. um, the conditions under which we were to use the boat and the responsibilities yeah. for both parties. And we worked on that while I was crossing the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we were not able to agree mm -hmm. on terms for that situation. Yeah. That That's as simple as we can explain yeah, it. Yeah, it's the truth. Um, we just couldn't agree. Yeah. And so we just decided that we were going to not proceed with going mm -hmm. to Miami and, and without. Mm -hmm. So we're bummed. We're I know bummed. so many of you are going to be at the boat show. And unfortunately, we are not going to be there. So. Yeah. Sorry what are we going to do that. instead? I know. We're, we're trying to figure it out. We're going to be here in the BVI and USVI <laughs> for the next uh, week or two. You're still recovering. Yeah. How are, you, how are you doing, by the way? Okay, I feel great. I do feel like my energy's back. I got to sleep 12 hours last night after only sleeping two and traveling. So I'm ready to just get some solid sleep and get this cough completely gone because it's still just a little cough. Mm -hmm. After that, we don't really have a solid plan. Mm -hmm. We don't even have a soft plan. We have some opportunities. We have opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to figure continue, that out. Continue, yeah, just um, exploring those and uh, getting rest and making a, a good decision. Um, in a situation like this, and, you know, we all go through these, these periods of disappointment or changes to the situation that seem like it's kind of a bummer we we really feel like that's a choice we can either be like upset about this or super bummed or or whatever mm -hmm. and that's not how we're going to look at it we're going to look at this with uh we're going to try to look at it with kind of the lens of gratitude mm -hmm. gratitude for the experience and for mm -hmm. the learnings and yeah. Um, and it's also the opportunities that lie ahead for us. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on, on what we got and not what we yeah. don't got. And so. I think it helps. I don't know about for you, but, you know, this opportunity with Utremer was a very short term opportunity. So yeah. it's not like, oh, my God, now what are we going to do with our lives? It was like, no, this was always just going to be a little little experiment you know for yeah. a short period of time so it just ended up being a little shorter and i'm just so glad that you got the experience that you did yeah uh with crossing an ocean so it's a win you know yeah i, I got to spend an ex extended period of time on a performance catamaran mm -hmm. and i i learned a lot i've got a lot to say on on what that's about what that's like how yeah. it compares to uh, slower boats mm -hmm. and uh, and so there'll be plenty to share yeah coming up yeah so, so we're sorry to share this rather startling news <laughs> yeah it is but we, we know we operated in the best of faith and earnestness and so it just is what it is it is what it is mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's okay so uh, we will be back to you with an update as as we have one for ourselves. I know. Yeah. It's exciting. What's it going to be? Um, we always thank you at the end of the videos, and I just can't reiterate that mm -hmm. enough. Of course, for the financial support, but also for the moral support. Yes. Spending time with Holly and Joe here on Not 5280, and also we, we ran into some other patrons today. And some, yes, Abby and Jamie, who we met in person three years ago in Annapolis. And so fun. What a small world. Yes, and it really is... It's very inspirational yeah. having this community and, and the support. support it's and, yes, common. we feel like we're not alone. Yeah, and that's important. And we ran into some other patrons last night. Yeah, Nahoma. Yes. Oh yeah, we had pizza with them. It was so fun. Yeah, yeah. getting there up. They're doing really exciting yeah. stuff. Uh, yes. sailing Nahoma. Yeah, yeah, those guys. They're great. They're so. awesome. So again, it's like life gives you lemons. All right, get out the lemonade. That's right. <laughs> All right, everybody, take care. We'll get an update to you as soon as we got one. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> I know.
Uh, uh, fill us in, Cap. I guess some friends of yours have drugged? Sounds like our friends didn't drag, but the boat in front of them dragged. Their bridle broke and plowed into Kalea. I think they're over in Francis right now, so... Uh, yeah, scary stuff. Oh my literally. gosh. This is literally... This is literally the strongest weather system of the season. I, I highly doubt there'll be another one this potent that swings through the Caribbean. I mean, this thing goes all the way down to Belize, the Cayman Islands, oh. Haiti, DR. Oh. The front is gonna lift moisture all the way up from Curacao. Oh my This, this is an extraordinary <laughs> system. Probably the strongest one in a few years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the lightning behind you too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This, this is serious. Yeah. Oh. Very really glad to be at a marina. I know. <laughs> I never thought you'd say that. <laughs> but I'm glad we're at a marina with six new dock lines. <laughs> yes. Oh.